The following instructional video is a link from the book Adventures in Water Skiing. More info at TonyClarich.com. Hot dogging can be a dangerous activity, so ski smart, ski safe. Tony Clarich would like to teach you some exciting freestyle slalom tricks. For slalom tricks, use a standard 75-foot rope with a single handle. Always use a Coast Guard-approved vest and some sort of wetsuit for protection. It'll take only one hard fall without a wetsuit for you to realize why you need that extra protection. The basic trick in freestyle slalom is the wake jump. While learning, Set the boat speed approximately two to three miles per hour slower than your normal skiing speed. Start about 20 feet outside the wake, then take a medium cut toward it. About five feet before you get to the wake, flatten out your ski and crouch down to prepare for the jump. As you hit the wake, extend your legs, driving your body upward. While you're in the air, make sure to always keep your head up and shoulders parallel to the water. Your arms should be slightly bent. Spot the landing and make sure the ski lands in the same direction as you're going. You can start by jumping in one direction only. As you progress, try it both ways. When you feel more comfortable, try to go higher and farther. The side slide. Before doing a side slide on a slalom ski, you should know how to do one on a trick ski. First, remove the fin by taking out the six screws. You will be turning toward your front foot so that your body faces the boat. Now, do the side slide with your slalom ski directly behind the boat. Find a speed that feels comfortable, about 20 to 25 miles per hour. As you feel more confident, stay in the side slide position and ski over to the crest of the wake. The ski will be at about a 130 degree angle relative to the boat. This is to hold you in the proper position. Once you can do this without the fin, it's time to put the fin back on. Smooth water is vital for this maneuver. To position yourself, ski about one foot inside the crest of the wake. Now jump up and land in the side slide position. While landing, bend your knees and keep your arms in. You must keep your body erect and use your feet to keep the ski's leading edge out of the water. The backward deep water start is a three-step process. First, you must position yourself correctly to start. You can start with either one or two feet in the bindings. Right foot forward skiers should start with the ski on the left side of the rope. This position would be reversed if you ski left foot forward. Position yourself backward with the handle against the back of your knees, your head ducked under the water, and the rope taut. As the boat accelerates, Keep the tail of the ski out of the water and pointed toward the boat. When the ski starts to plane, stand up and bring the handle to the small of your back and put your rear foot in the binding if you started with one foot out. Assume the correct body position by having your knees bent, head up, and shoulders parallel to the water. To turn forward, simultaneously unweight your ski by pushing off the water and turning your head and shoulders to the forward position. It's important to keep the handle in close to your body while turning. Always make sure you're looking good. Next up is an impressive way to end your run, the tick-tock. After letting go of the rope, wait until your skiing speed slows down. Initiating the trick at the proper speed is the key to the tick-tock. At the proper speed, the water will feel just hard enough to push off of. To prepare, bend down almost to a crouch. If you're turning to the left, 
extend your left arm forward and your right arm back. Reverse this arm position if you plan to spin the other way. As you actually jump off the water, spin on the tip of the ski while throwing your arms and turning your head and shoulders in the direction of your turn. Keep your head up and shoulders parallel to the water. Land by absorbing the bounce and extending your arms for balance. To continue the forward motion, straighten your legs to unweight the ski and continue turning your head and shoulders in the direction you are spinning.